All right, so today, chemist, we're going to look at how to define how to dehydrate ethanol to ethylene. Okay, so turning ethanol into ethylene. Now, as we're chemists, we like to know how this actually works. Um, we'll get our color pen we want. So basically, the reaction looks like ethylene. Uh, sorry, ethanol to ethylene plus water. This is a dehydration, which means it takes a water off it. But there is a a catalyst required, and that is concentrated sulfuric acid. Okay, so here's our ethylene ethanol. Sorry, it's nice and it's nice and strong. It's solid. Um, it's CH C2H5O, and it's a liquid. We mix it with the sulfuric acid, and it strips it apart. It breaks off the the hydronium ions and whatnot break off the water particles and we'll have a look at how that works in a second sort of so we go from we end up with gas ethylene and water hence dehydration the water is coming off and this is what it actually looks like it breaks it at the end bonds so this hydrogen and this OH so hydroxyl group get taken off by the sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid remains unchanged because it's a catalyst, but it gets broken off and becomes a water molecule. They join together and a bond forms here, which makes that a double bond because they, they don't want to be a radical. So what actually happens is this and this go off to join together and give you an um, da -da -da -da, water molecule. And the rest of it comes down as a. So this is step two. I'm consciously not using this arrow because it's more of an illustrated guide, and I don't want you to get confused as to this is the thing. This is the reaction. Okay, so we've got our H is there, H is there, H there, and then the next step is these join up in the middle like that so you know you get a, a bond forming there and you get C uh, C and off we go all right now sulfuric acid is the catalyst we want to talk about why it's the catalyst though so ethanol can, can be converted to ethylene by the process of dehydration this just means removing water. This process requires a catalyst to lower the activation energy. Okay, so it allows it to occur at a low temperature. It's needed because of this. It's a dehydrating agent, which means it breaks that bond and that bond. Um, it allows the double bond to form, but also water. That's why it's dehydrating, takes the water away. It lowers the activation energy for the reaction to take place. Okay, now there's a reason. The forward reaction is exothermic. Okay, It's an exothermic reaction. So the temperature of the system can't be too high. Otherwise, eth ethene is reduced. And it's kind of like this, right? So if, um, if C, C, O, H, we'll leave all the extra H's off, um, goes to this plus C, and make sure so you can see out of my head, C plus heat, if you do it at too high a temperature, it will push the reaction the other direction to help get rid of the heat. Um, so the catalyst absorbs the water and stops the reaction from reversing as well. Okay, so that's the other thing. So it allows it to happen at a lower heat, and it also, because it's sulfuric acid, it absorbs the water and takes it on board as part of its solution. Now, we can do this in a lab, but it looks a bit different to the, the equation we just gave you, but we have ethanol soaked in mineral wool. Um, this could also be sand. That works quite well. We have porcelain chips here, which would have um, an aluminium oxide in there, and hard glass boiling chip. You heat it up to about 180 degrees, and ethene gas will come off and will bubble up ethene gas sorry, and bubble up and be collected in this area here. It'll displace the water in that tube. Um, that's it, and I'll see you in class.